Welcome everyone. In this course, you will learn how AI writing tools work, the problems with current tools, and how you can overcome them. We'll cover a couple of different approaches of how you might integrate AI content into your writing workflow. We're going to dive into a number of different types of content and show you exactly how to use AI for each, along with demos of several popular tools. Then we're going to take a deep dive into editing content, which is arguably the most important lesson of all here. We'll look at how AI content detection works and how to avoid it. And then we'll do a deep dive walkthrough showing all the functionality of several of the top AI tools. And finally, we'll provide a cheat sheet to show you which AI writing tools are the best for different types of content, along with a few exclusive discounts. Let's get started. So who are we and why are we qualified to talk about AI writing tools? Well, we're a team of professional writers, editors, and content strategists. So we know our stuff about content production. We operate our own portfolio of about a dozen content websites and we run a marketing agency. My name is Jeff Cudd and I'm the creator of the Don't Do It Yourself website. I'll be one of your instructors along with my senior editor, Ashley Hernandez. I'll cover the concepts and approach while Ashley will demonstrate exactly how to use several AI writing tools. When these tools first started hitting the market, we spent months testing all the top providers and we learned the good, the bad, and the ugly. We were surprised to find the learning curve was fairly steep for a few of the more popular ones. And when we tried to find some training, the only videos available were specific to a single tool and really only showed you how to click buttons and generate blocks of text, but not much else. That's why I created this course to help teach you how to incorporate AI content into your business, regardless of which tool you use. We personally use AI to help speed up our content production and reduce cost, but we still focus on original editorial input and high quality output. We don't replace our writers with AI, it just helps them become more productive and it can help you too. So why use AI writing tools in the first place? Well, you can reduce your writing time down to minutes or seconds instead of hours. Time will vary depending on the tool you use, but we'll share our picks of different tools for different content types. And similar to that, you can drastically improve your writing output. Depending on your tools and content workflow, you can see exponential increases. We manage a portfolio of websites ourselves, and we recently went from about 20 posts a month to almost six times that. We could scale even further, but we do still incorporate a lot of editing and quality checks into our workflow. More on that in depth later. Now, it may seem counterintuitive, but you can become a better writer with grammar, spelling, and tone. I personally find it much easier to edit than to write from scratch. Not to mention it's an easy way to overcome writer's block. And finally, you can dramatically reduce your cost for content. We're able to cut our own internal costs down by almost 75% without sacrificing quality. Let's take a look at an example. An average blog post might be around 1,500 words, and your average human writer might be about seven cents per word in terms of cost. Compare that to an AI tool, which does vary based on the type of tool that you're using, but let's use an average of one cent per word, which is a fraction of the cost of the human writer. The time it takes to produce that content is also a fraction of the cost. A well-researched blog post might take about three hours. Um, it could go up to four or five or, or even longer, depending on how much research, but an AI written post can be generated in seconds in some cases. And you know, if you're iterating using the tool, maybe let's say five minutes, but either way, it's a big time savings. And then in terms of editing, we recommend actually using a, an editor, whether you're using a human writer or an AI tool. And so on average, we came up with about uh, one cent per word as a good rate. Normally editors will charge by the hour, but uh, for purposes of this equation, we're just gonna boil it down to a cost per word. And when we multiply those together, we come up with a total cost for human written content of about $120 per per well-researched blog post, whereas an AI written post with editing costs about $30, which is 25% of the cost in a fraction of the time. So you can see that there's a huge savings there. So how the heck do AI writing tools work? Well, simply put, an AI writing tool is software that uses artificial intelligence to generate content like a blog post, product description, or even a story. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, but the end result really isn't that complicated. It's all just inputs and outputs. Basically, most tools will use a computer program to accept a few user inputs 
like a keyword, a phrase, or even a paragraph of content and feed them into an AI engine. The tool will use something called natural language processing to help the engine understand those inputs and what the user is actually looking for. In general, the tools will take those user inputs and then analyze the top ranking search results for a topic and sometimes additional data sets as well. And they will try to aggregate and rephrase all of that content as new content. Now, the amount of output will vary wildly by the tool that you use. Some tools produce a single paragraph or even a sentence at a time. Others create an outline of headings and a structure for your post. And some tools will even take a single keyword and generate an entire blog post in one go. Now, many people are afraid to use AI tools, and with good reason. Here are the biggest problems with AI writing tools. And don't worry, we have a solution for each of these, but it is important to understand the limitations up front. First off, the majority of tools work best for short form content. They only let you generate a paragraph at a time unless you want to sacrifice quality. Most won't cut it for long form blog posts and work better for things like product descriptions or social media ads. Although we have found a great tool for long form content, which we will show you later. Number two is that you have to become a trained operator in order to use the tools. Most of them are just not intuitive and can't be used without written procedures or documentation. There are some exceptions, but overall, that's what this, this course is for. Number three, you must provide a lot of input and continuously iterate to feed AI tools enough context in order to get half-decent long-form output. Again, there are some exceptions to this rule, which we will show you. Number four, there are no original contents or insights generated by AI. AI writing programs work by regurgitating information they find on the internet. The machines aren't smart enough to create new ideas, so there's not going to be a Skynet, at least not this year. In fact, if there is no existing content on a subject, an AI tool will have a hard time writing about it. So one thing we always recommend, and you'll hear repeated throughout this course, is that in order to create quality content, we really suggest having an editor add their own insights to any AI output. Number five, there's no fact checking. When a tool regurgitates the top content in search, misinformation will get repeated too. Not to mention we found many random inaccurate statements that made no sense in a lot of our test posts. The solution is to build fact checking into your editorial process. Number six is that there's no plagiarism checking or at least not all of the tools have plagiarism checking. So it's easy to accidentally steal sentences, statistics, and paragraphs of text without any attribution to the original source. Number seven, raw AI content can be detected, both by Google and your average reader. Google has announced that they devalue AI content, but if you edit your content and use it as a productivity tool, it's perfectly acceptable. We'll teach you how to make AI content undetectable. And then finally, the content output is messy. It's often organized in weird, difficult to understand ways without a coherent overall structure. Again, that's what an editor is for. AI content should be viewed as a writing assistant, not a writer replacement. So the key concepts that we're going to cover in this course are that you need to use the right tool for the right content type, you need to prepare your inputs carefully in advance before using the tool. And then editing is critical. You really need to spend time after AI content is generated for wording, the flow and sequence of your content, fact checking, and plagiarism checking.